the state government has decided to cut fuel prices by one rupee per litre. The price cut will come into effect from June 1st. Remember, state governments impose a VAT on fuel besides the excise duty levied on them by the centre. Now, to discuss this story further, we're joined by Kerala's Finance Minister, Thomas Isaac. Mr. Isaac, thank you for joining us yet again on prime time. Now, the last time you and I spoke, you said that the state's hands are tied, or state governments, uh, when it comes to their finances, well, their hands are tied. You said that a state like Kerala would actually be prompted to move if the centre was to take an initiative and cut the excise uh, on this. What has prompted uh, your state to really take uh, this decision? All right. Uh, because the entire pricing increase has been engineered by the central government, it, uh, it is continuous increase that has affected in the excess duty. But uh, there is no point in going on to leave the center. So for some reason, they have decided to please the people. They are totally insensitive. And so we have decided to take uh, action on, on our own and given up the additional revenue. Uh, that uh, might appeal to us uh, because of the increase in the petroleum prices. Right, Mr. Isaac. Now, uh, also in our previous conversation, you said that the Modi government was intentionally increasing uh, these rates only to make a grand announcement before elections. There was part of a, a bigger plan. If that announcement does come and if prices do fall and the centre takes that initiative, will you as a state cut rates further? Let's see, let's see. Um, but I hope there will be a big movement coming up in in India to see that that the central government is pushed back uh, uh, because um, now the the action that we have taken, I am certain, is going to incentivize uh, people across in India to demand that uh, petroleum taxes be brought down. All right, Mr. Isaac, really appreciate you joining us live on a prime time.